the number two House Republican, Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise. Congressman, always good to see you on this Friday afternoon. So where does this stand as far as you can tell? Well, Martha, it's good to be back with you. And they still don't have the votes. And that's the bottom line when you're talking about why they still haven't gone to the floor. I would imagine shortly they'll probably try to bring some sort of procedural motion, but still not the actual tax and spend bill. And that CBO score is a holdup for a good reason. Uh, the Wharton report is, is very damning in terms of how bad it would be for the economy. Uh, $4 trillion, not $1.5 trillion in new spending. And the voters in Virginia said, uh, one thing loud and clear, they're tired of all the spending in Washington because that's what's driving inflation. We don't need more inflation with four trillion in taxes and spending, uh, let alone all the taxes on things like natural gas. Uh, the, the, you see these payments to illegals, $450,000 in illegal, and then they're going to put amnesty in that tax and spend bill. Those are the things people are revolting against. It's why they don't have the votes, and when the score comes out, it's only going to make things worse. So I don't think they're going to pass it today, but they're going to keep trying. You know, maybe they should be handing out slings over there in the speaker's office for all the arms they're twisting, but they're not there. Hmm. Well, it's interesting because the message from the White House and the cabinet seems to be that they want to be full steam ahead on this spending bill. And they still believe that it is in that current form, which you say could go as high as $4 trillion, according to some of the uh, workups on it. They believe that this is still what the American people want. Here is the Transportation Secretary, Secretary Buttigieg. Watch. These are things that are going to make such a transformative, real dollars and cents difference for families across this country right away, which is why it's so important and why it's so popular. The American people are demanding the kind of policies that are sitting in front of Congress right now, and we can't wait to see them through. So here's the interesting thing, uh, Congressman Scalise, because obviously there's a big divide in the Democrat Party right now between moderates and progressives. And I think uh, the transportation secretary falls into the latter category because here's Allison Spamberger, who is obviously in a different situation uh, with her seat. And she said this, nobody elected him to be FDR. They elected him to be normal and stop the chaos. What do you say to that? Yeah, she's right. They misread last year's election. Uh, you've seen the socialists. Bernie Sanders was defeated in the primary, and yet Bernie Sanders is driving the agenda. He is the budget chairman, uh, and this is a budget process they're going through, approaching it much more as if it's Bernie Sanders, uh, not the way Joe Biden ran. But for Pete Buttigieg to say this is popular, if it was popular, Terry McAuliffe would have just been elected governor on Tuesday night, mm -hmm. and instead he took a thumping in a blue state because people are tired of all the spending in Washington. They don't want four trillion more in spending. They actually want to roll back the trillions that have already been spent that are jacking up inflation, that are raising gas prices. Uh, you saw their interior secretary laughing at the thought of increasing production in America when that's the problem. They have shut off production in America while they're begging OPEC to, to produce more oil. People don't want to pay $150 or more to fill up their car for gasoline, yet that's what yeah. they're doing. And it seems like President Biden and Speaker Pelosi are tone deaf to what's going on in the real world. And it's caused Costing them. You know, it's interesting, your reference to Secretary Granholm, she was asked about how to relieve gas prices in the country, and she said, I don't have a magic wand. It all comes from OPEC, essentially. I'm paraphrasing her there. Um, really ignoring the potential and the resources that we know we have on hand because we were just energy dependent uh, not, not even two years ago. Yeah, they gave away that magic wand to OPEC. We were energy independent. They killed the Keystone Pipeline. They put a ban on drilling on federal lands. And then you're, you're going to beg OPEC? OPEC said no for a reason. They want higher yeah. gas prices. It helps OPEC, but it hurts families in America. And by the way, it's the lower income families that are hit the hardest by President Biden's inflation tax that he created himself. He can reverse it. He just doesn't want to because the far left won't let him. All right. Uh, Congressman Scalise, always good to see you, sir. Thank you very much.